Yo, what's going on people? Welcome back to another video. My name is Jack Aris, Jack Cole, and uh, in today's video, the topic that we are tackling is how to edit YouTube videos, a beginner's guide. Pretty much just talking about a particular program, very, very, very much on the cheap side of software, and also pretty, pretty good as well for the money, right? So definitely a good beginner's program to get you into it before you move on to something a little bit more advanced. Okay, so the program we're actually going to be looking at today is called Film Aura, okay? And Film Aura is no, unfortunately, not a fully free program, but it is a very, very good one to say the least, and also a very, very cheap one compared to its competitors. Now, if you buy it now, I would definitely suggest buying it now because unfortunately, if you don't buy it now, there will be a watermark on your video and that is just so annoying to actually have to deal with. So if I was you, I'd drop the 40 bucks for a year license or the 60 bucks for a lifetime license and you will be on your way without any bullshit watermarks or, or any nonsense like that. So I would unfortunately suggest buying it first off the rip. When you buy this program, by the way, there is a 30 day money back guarantee Meaning that if you really don't like it in the first 30 days, or if you just learn video editing that quickly in the first 30 days that you're like, hold on, hold on, I need a, a more advanced video editor, then you can cancel it and get your full monies back within 30 days. So very, very, very good right there. But once you open it, I would suggest that you just put, put 16 by 9, which is of course widescreen, and pull the fee the click the full feature mode. This is our basic kind of platform right here. Obviously, we've got this screen right here, which is obviously our playback place. I do have some stuff in here because I was messing around a little earlier, but I've got an idea for basically how I'm going to show off what this video editor can do and overall just its kind of full capabilities, basically. All right. So, yes, what we're going to want to do is go ahead and import media. Boom. I'm going to go up here and I'm actually going to kind of pretend like I was editing just a regular YouTube video, right? Just to show you guys around. So, I'm going to get an actual YouTube video of mine, but um, I'm actually just going to take a certain section of it. We actually have a clip up of me right here, and this is a previous video that I've actually done, so it's not actually like just a tiny little clip. So I do want to kind of take a little segment out. Now, when you actually import your stuff up here, obviously I just showed you how to actually import stuff. You can just clearly just drag it down here. Very, very simple. And then say I want to cut a little segment out, which is what I want to do there is automatically a little scissor tool that follows you around wherever you go. You see it, it kind of disappears when I scrub through, but when I let go, it is here. So I want to cut that little segment right there, all right? I'm going to cut that, and then I'm going to kind of scroll through until it's the next, the next shot of me right here. Boom. I'm going to delete that middle clip because we don't need that. And now I just want a small segment Oh, before I actually go into that weird mode right there. Boom. So now I have two clips of myself just basically in different areas um just kind of talking in my room and i want to kind of put some stuff over this like i normally do right put some videos kind of uh layered on top of this and so first off i don't actually want to be hearing myself i'm gonna go ahead and mute these guys right here and when you're actually in this video editor there is a vast variety of different things you can do there is transitions for example on this point between me and the other clip of me right here right Obviously, there's no transition. Now, we can actually mess around with some different stuff. There was one that I thought was quite cool, which was the wave over here, which is just a little bit weird, but I don't know. It, it really depends what your kind of style is. Like, have a little look right here. I think this is a very cool built-in um, transition. Definitely some better transitions. So, of course, it's kind of a little bit cheesy, but you know what I mean? For kind of like a, a simple video editor like this, um, what more could you really expect? You know what I mean? The stuff isn't going to be like Spielberg quality stuff but it's definitely useful. And um, look at that. that, that was all right. That was kind of clean. And overall, there's just a massive variety of different transitions to all use right here. And personally, I haven't even paid for this program because I have no intention of exporting uh, stuff from it because I have other video editors and I'm just simply putting to the, uh, this together for kind of informative purposes. Um, but even with the free version, you still have all of this stuff right here. It's absolutely crazy uh, how much they actually even give you. Then you can even move on to stuff like the overlays, which is loads of stuff. And when you bring one in, you see if it has this little um, download thing at the top right here. That right there means that it's just on the internet. When you kind of try to, to drag it in, it will, of course, download, which is very, very cool. So there's like an online library of loads of stuff to choose from as well. Let's move on and try and actually make like an actual kind of sequence. So I want to bring in some clips, right? I'm going to bring in some clips from 
when I filmed future. I'm not too sure when might actually be some future clips. I'm gonna take these five clips right here. Oh shit, and I just grabbed one. Cancel, cancel, my bad. I just clicked one last time. We're gonna wait for these to import and then we're gonna start layering stuff over and kind of see how, how easily we can do this. Um, okay, so let's have a look, let's have a look. Gigs, gigs. All right, so that's probably the best clip of the random ones that I just grabbed. I don't even have any preview on my actual clips that, that I grabbed, so I just it was just random stuff that was in my kind of folder, but I'm pretty much just gonna put this clip of this girl dancing at the club basically in between my two clips right here with a nice transition, okay? So obviously currently this is how it goes. Me right there, kind of the aspect ratio is a little bit messed up. And then it just cuts to me um, in the other clip, right? Boom, you know, I mean, two different locations, kind of cool. Okay, boom, so we've got our clip right in there right now. Oh shit, <laughs> we, we definitely need to mute that. That's, that's gonna get us copyright strike, God damn it, gigs. So it goes from me, legit just sitting in my room, right? And then it cuts to this girl in the club, dancing on the pole or whatever. And that goes on a little bit too long, I reckon. So let's go ahead and right there, just before it kind of goes away, we're gonna want to split. And obviously I could have done that right there as well. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. And now it legit just goes me in my room in one sector, right? Hold on, oh, there you go to the girl in the club, and then it's gonna go to me again. So a pretty boring sequence still, which is why we're gonna wanna go ahead and get our transitions on the go, right? So let's have a look uh, at what this page curl is gonna say right here. And we'll see what, it's, we'll see, let's see what it's saying. So that right there, right off the rip, it is a transition, it definitely looks cheesy as hell. There is infinite transitions here. We just need to find one that's not that goddamn cheesy. My bad, all right? I'm not gonna do it to you like that. Hold tight. All right, let's have a look. Let's have a look what this is saying right here. This is called the cross roll 12. All right, come on now. Oh, see, that's a little bit more what I'm talking about right there. That's definitely a little bit more what I'm talking about. It's hard because there is a little bit of a delay. Oh, there you go. Now, could we speed that up? If we could speed that up, then, then we're in business. Oh, and apparently I just fully deleted it. Hold on, man. Hold up. This is my first time messing with this program, by the way. Yep, look at that. Okay, we're going to make the transition a little shorter. And we'll see if it renders, right? Come on now. Oh! That's what I'm talking about. That's 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 pretty nice. Hold hold on, hold on, hold on. Boom! Hard. Girls going crazy in the club, and then um we kind of want to bring it back, right? Maybe, maybe. Alright, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna be crazy here for a second. I'm gonna get cross roll 11. Uh-oh. Creating preview render is necessary for smooth playback. Please wait. Alright, let's have a look what this pre-render is saying. And um, that's, I don't know, let's have a look, right? Let's go, come on now. Let's see what these uh, these cross roll 12s and these cross roll 11s are saying. And then we need to add a little bit of music and then pretty much I think I think we're ready. All right, is that pre-rendered? Yeah, all that's pre-rendered, boom. So I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking. Oh, shit, straight to the club, look at that. What, damn, damn, and straight back to me. So I can't even lie, that actually looks smooth. That actually looks really, really smooth, right? Um, now we need to go back to media and just go ahead and import some media, right? Um, look at all them clips. Where's a good song? Um, all right, that's that's just a random little bit of backing track, right? Boom, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna cut it right there because it kind of sounded like that, sort of sounded like a bit of a transition right there, right? And, and we'll, we'll see what it's saying, we'll see what it's saying. I need to bring it back a little bit, a little bit, just a little bit, hold on. Oh, that was way too much. Oh! Doesn't really fit this at all. <laughs> all right, yo, that didn't really fit it, but you guys kind of get the idea, all right? Jeez, that's funny as hell. <laughs> Let's watch that one more time. Hold tight, hold tight. <laughs> oh, that's funny, man. Oh. All right, bang. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. Um, let me turn my screen recorder off because that's going to be creating a massive, massive file that's just going to be like 50 gigabytes, but I've just turned it off. It's cool. Um, yeah, honestly, thank you guys for watching the video. This has been um, a YouTube video editing guide for beginners, pretty much. I do believe that Filmora is an absolutely amazing video editor for beginners because it's just so simple. Look at this. This is legitimately the first time I've used this program because I've just been hearing its name around kind of the YouTube editing um, community, right? 
and look how easy it was honestly you could figure this program out in a matter of seconds literally just mess with it and it's uh, kind of all pretty straightforward honestly i would be very, be very surprised if you kind of struggled to be able to use this program but like i said thank you guys for watching i've been jack or it's jack cole have a nice day and goodbye